In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up two of your switches to control six different flight modes on your Tyrannus X9D Plus controller, or probably a lot of different controllers out there. So this is going to be using OpenTX, so if you're using that and you're using the Tyrannus, it probably works for your model. There are a lot of different ways you can do this. The way that I think is the best is to have the radio calculate out, or basically not even calculate, just when I flip a switch, it sends out on channel 5 a PWM value that is perfectly within, right in the middle of where it wants to be for the receiver and the flight controller to say, okay, this is time for a mode change and to switch modes. I want the radio to do this calculation based on my switch locations, not based on... Uh, I don't want something to calculate it through the mixer, or the inputs and the outputs and all that stuff. This is a very simple way. This is the way that I think it should be done. Um, we're going to use these special functions. And if you're following along in the video, you see that my settings already. So you can, you can go back to that. But the way that we're going to do it is we're going to go to uh, OpenTX. Companion. Okay, so before we get into OpenTX Companion, let me just walk you through the model setup here. And no changes on our basic setup. Our flight modes. This is where I've got my flight mode set in. I'll explain about the mode zero with that does not have a logical switch attached to it. You can see I've got logical switches attached to each mode. I only use two inputs to do this. Those are my SE and SF switches. Nothing changes in the mixer. Nothing changes in the outputs. No curves. No global variables changes. Now here's our logical switches. SF and SE. Those are the two switches we'll be using. And one's a three channel switch. Yeah, there's a two uh, position switch. Did I say channel? I meant position switch. Three position switch and a two position switch. You can see when you go through the radio, it'll indicate what mode. For checking this, for checking what mode you're in, I recommend using Yapu telemetry script because it gets your mode from the flight controller, so it's a verification. Whereas in the radio, the radio doesn't know if the flight controller's actually received it. So I have, I use, when I'm flying, I use the Yapu screen. You, you saw that earlier. Now, in the special functions, this is where everything actually happens. And basically all you're doing is using your uh, switches, your logical switches, to override channel 5 and export the exact values that Mission Planner is expecting or your flight controller or whatever you've got. And that's it. So the first thing we've got to do is get into OpenTX Companion and open our model. And then we're going to set up our flight modes. Now the default mode this is used if there's no switch present so this is what is going to show up on your screen in between switching modes is this right here so i've set mine to mode dot 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 because when i flip the switch in between if i have a delay which in most cases i do at least a slight delay this is what it'll say in between continue on with the rest of your flight modes but save this this switch part for later because we're going to use our logical switches to be what is what defines our flight modes. What we're going to do is set up two inputs, physical inputs, to be uh, set up. We're going to set up two physical inputs. One that is a one that is a three position switch and one that's a two position switch that's going to modify the uh, other switch. So I've got mode 1 and mode 2 is what I'm setting up. Mode 1 is attached to the SF switch on the controller and mode 2 is attached to the SE switch on the controller. 
all the other default variables you can not mess with. So then we've got to set up our logical switches, and the logical switch numbers are predefined. One through six is what we'll use for our six flight modes. These are all going to be AND switches. You've got a lot of options there. In this case, we're using AND switches. Then, that's our function. Now we've got two variables that we're playing with here, the SF switch and the SE switch. The two position switch up up or down up or down and then the three position switch which has up middle down up middle down and each one is going to be a different function giving us the option to assign a different result to it okay now the delay now this is important and the reason it's important is because if you flip through modes and you don't want to get you know to actually have to go through that mode <clears throat> when you say flip from loiter mode to in this case my case circle mode and I just flip the switch really fast then this little delay right here is going to prevent the flight controller from getting switched into attitude mode and going straight into instead into circle mode so that's what that delay is for. Okay, so we've got our logical switches. Now these logical switches, you saw a hint earlier that these are what is going to be the switch that activates our flight controls. So put those in there. Six is going to be return to launch. Five is going to be auto. Four is simple, which is also called course lock for some people. Uh, circle, how would I say, it is simple, circle, altitude hold, and loiter. Now the mode, remember, is the in-between uh, switches. Then, <clears throat> this is where it all happens, our special functions. And I've got, in my case, a volume knob. <clears throat> and this is how you do the volume knob, by the way. I saw some crazy stuff going on on another video. This is how you do it and some tracks here. <clears throat> uh, then the important part we're getting to is what you want to do is have your special functions override channel 5 and output exactly the value that the PWM value that mission planner or your flight controller is expecting. So this is a uh, the number that's going to give you the right numbers that mission planner expects for a flight mode change and tells it, okay, it's uh, time for a flight mode change. Another thing you can do if you want is put another special function attached to the same uh, the same logical switch. And that is, to, in my case, I'm playing a track, like loiter mode. Loiter mode. <clears throat> Switching, you know, when I switch, it does that. So that's how you do it. You don't have to do anything with the inputs other than put your two inputs in because that's what they are, they're inputs. You don't have to do any mixing of those inputs. Channel 5 is, is being overridden, so there is nothing else and there should be nothing else conflicting with it. If you have a problem, maybe that's why. Outputs, you don't have to mess with your outputs. You've just got your regular ones. You can name them here like I did so that you can't get confused later or something. No curves, just your logical switches your special functions, and your flight modes. And then you're ready to go.